today. Um, Argy's gone. We've got a lot of little maintenance to do, starting with latches. Um, every spring we find some that don't work, some that do. I keep a wide array of these little things like this. I know where I'm going to use this, and I know where I'm going to use this, but if I catch them on sale, I purchase them, and then I've got them on hand to do what I need to do. The other thing I'm going to get done today is hang a gate. So that's what this comes in, and the drill, of course. I'm going to go change my shoes, and we'll get started. So this is the first one that we're going to start with. They've kind of busted a few boards. I've got to fix those. And then in here, they have busted one. They won't reach to this one because of how it's settled. Um, and this one over here. And they break out all the time. So I'm actually going to put these two babies here, Miss Bumleg and Miss Bottle Baby, or Mr. Bottle Baby, outside. And then I can get in here and work on securing this. Come up, guys. Let's go. Okay, so on these stalls. Um, we have these big eyes right here with this right here and this big chain comes off and goes across here and that keeps our horses in. Um, this is not up. The, the wooden part is not up. But because we wanted it to service cattle, sheep, whatever we needed it to, um, we chose to, to make these small gates here. <coughs> And for the sheep, they're just a hook and eye system. See, there's an eye there and a hook, and then an eye there and a hook. And it works great for sheep. But this year, we've had to keep a couple of bottle calves in here, and we found that they tend to push the limits and the bounds a little bit. So I've got my clasp on and one of the things that I really like is I can bring this out when I'm letting the cattle out, lay it up against that edge right there and because that's a little bit tougher, it'll actually hold it up, help guide them out. Okay, so I wanted to show you how the hook and eye system actually works. These two pins have been here just as long as the others. Um, we use them for chickens, the one with the chicken wire, um, we use it for baby chicks, over there we use... Um, for Shetlands um, here before too long. These will be birthing pens because we don't have any chicks right now. But the hook and eye system actually works. You can see that down there. There's one there. This one is unhooked, but it's right here. And every one of these is held really sturdy. I mean, this is not going anywhere. There's a hook and eye over here to hold this one in place. And these two hook together. This one hooks to here because this can be self-standing. Um, there's a hook and eye back there. Um, I don't remember what side it's on. This side right here. So these are hook and eyed in and then they hook an eye together here. And then this is an add-on so I can do this one here and then this simply hooks here and they, they hook snugly. So this is really sturdy. This is held Shetland babies and their moms um, for birthing a hundred times over. Um, and they're very sturdy. The thing is, is the Shetland are miniature sheep and not cattle. We did not have a problem with our latches until we put the cows in here. The horses honor these that I showed you before. Um, and there's one on each thing. And I thought I could just make a little thing, do the hook and eye thing, and it would work. But unfortunately, for the bigger livestock, it really really doesn't. So modifications and I think I found two new latches for here and we'll see how that goes too. Alright so I've been working on latches today. This is kind of unconventional. It was a piece of string. My husband kept not tying it right. RJ let the pig out. The pig and the donkey do not get along. The donkey chases and goes after him and, and actually tries to hurt the pig. Um, I don't know why but what I did was I screwed this part in like it should be and then I had to wire it to the metal gate. So there's no such thing as a metal to wire or metal to wood type latch. So I made do. I see it has to be able to take up the whole itching thing. <laughs> but it's holding her in. So and this little latch just clips on and off and it loosens up when she doesn't do it. So when she doesn't push out on it. But I think it'll work. We'll see. If we have any more piggy escapes, well, 
back to the drawing board. <laughs>